Next one's from um, uh, George Gebhardt. Subject, NXT minor league system or not? Hey, guys. NXT was introduced as the next era of WWE superstars, basically a minor league for Raw and SmackDown. Do you think they hold on to them too long by not promoting them? In my opinion, while doing so, it's completely against what they had set out to do for the brand. They have a glut of talent, so many under contract that people don't even see on their weekly program. So many of the wrestlers already have 10 to 15 years in business, so I don't know how much more seasoning they really need. I get that WWE wants them to wrestle their way and knock out any bad indie influences. That's, that's what they do at the Performance Center. But having talent on there for three to four years or longer seems to fly against their original business model. Performers like Und- Undisputed Era are stars. Cr- Cross and Scarlet, stars. They're the best women's division in wrestling. they are probably at least six to, to eight of them they could call up right now. Dexter Loomis is a star. Cameron Grimes, Cameron Grimes is tailor-made for the WWE brand. Same with Shotzi Blackheart. Promote them so you can see who's behind them to develop. Thanks for your time. Sincerely, George Geb- Gebhardt. Um, yeah, well, it's become another brand. Yeah. I think the original thing was to give these guys, <clears throat> video, they were doing this in, before, what was it, Florida Championship Wrestling, and they did it in Georgia. They were just giving these guys, like, you know, TV time to teach them how to do TV. And it's just like, I guess since the show developed kind of like a fan base, they decided, like, maybe make another brand. But but the but the purpose of the brand is to, <clears throat> you know, get people, put them through the system and I don't even know they 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 want to create stars because yeah. it seems like that's not what they're trying to do. But but they're just getting them ready for TV. But there's definitely guys on this on this show that are they act like stars, they wrestle like stars, they perform like stars. But the people there's just still a percentage of the fan base that looks at this as a developmental brand and just won't watch it because that's the perception. I know this for a fact because I was one of them. I never really NXT never never grew on me until I started watching it like like regularly. You know, and like, and then that's that's why they have fans is because they, you can see these people are very talented. They have there, you know. So, um, not to mention, out of every show on TV, they have the best in ring action. Seems like it. I mean, it yeah. looks. It's, it, you know, it seems, seems like, like it. It is. It, here, here's the thing, because what these guys are doing. Who's out working them in the ring? I, I mean, no, nobody. Because the thing right. is, is like, these guys are in the school. They're fine tuning their craft. They're going on TV. They're bringing them in. They're, the coaches are watching the matches. You got Shawn Michaels and everything. And what they're doing is on that show is they, they go back and now they're correcting their mistakes. Because a lot of the, the show, like for, for wrestlers, mm. there's a lot of detail on, on in their matches in NXT compared to most of these other shows. And that's because they're getting good training and, and they're just, you know, they're, they're learning. But it's still, you know, it's still the perception is it's a, a developmental brand. Yeah. You know, and then that's what hurts that show. And then the fact they don't have, you know, it's they, they have the like, uh, you know, this, you know, the song started from the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah. You know, they have all the guys starting at the bottom. Yeah. Like for the perception of talent wise in wrestling, you're looking at NXT go, oh, well, they got the worst guys because they got all the devel- all the developmental guys. But not if you watch the show. Yeah. If you watch the show. You're like, wow, these guys are really good. And I think there's you know? probably. A, a double problem. There's probably some guys that don't want to go up to the main roster because they don't want to deal with the b- politics that you have to deal with over there because they hear it and they see it. They're afraid they may get lost in the shuffle because Vince's idea of what a star looks like might not be them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you've probably got a lot of that going on too. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. there's a lot, a lot of BS and politics in Raw and SmackDown that there isn't in NXT. Yeah, yeah, look at all the guys that came up from NXT and didn't succeed. Or, right. but, but I think the purpose and perception of NXT changed because when they when they were running OE, OVW as their feeder league and minor league, they would bring in guys with no experience like Brock or Orton, Batista, all these guys that turned out great. And then when they switched to Florida and NXT and it became it was on the network, they still had guys that were real young and didn't have experience. But then one of the first guys that came in was like uh, El Generico. He was the first big indie name they signed after Punk and all that. And then Finn Balor. And then uh, Hideo Itami was a big one at that time. And then Owens. And it changed the perception from this is the you know development or the minor league to this is almost like WWE's televised indie. And it still is. You know, They take anyone with any kind of uh, steam on them. And they they want to grab him before anybody anybody else does. You know, Cross was like that. Cross had a lot of a lot of buzz around him. They wanted to grab him to make sure nobody else did. Or at least that's that's my perception anyway. And uh, the other guy, who's the guy? Um, Punisher Martinez. I never remember his name. He's Dave Damian Priest. Yeah. So Punisher Martinez. He was in Ring of Honor. He won the TV <laughs> belt. He was there like just a few months, and and the crowd didn't really warm to him that much. Didn't matter. He was a big, tall, good-looking guy. Someone someone Ring of Honor and went swoop, and they snagged him up too. And 
you know, that seems to be the thing there. Not not only is it developmental, but it's also a way for them to put some put these guys somewhere just so they don't wind up on TNT or or yeah. They will. It, it's stupid because they have a lot of talent, great talent. They don't they don't even know what to do with. Yeah. 